Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're going to talk all about lip creams and we're going to be rating my top five from eh, most disappointing all the way to the absolute best. So let's lay out some boundaries before we get into it. I love to have those boundaries and parameters that we can work within. A lip cream is something, well it's not new, but we're certainly seeing more and more of it lately as the days go on. A lip cream is kind of a combination of a lipstick, a creamy lipstick, and a liquid lip. Lip creams are categorized by their doe foot applicator and their moussey or airy like consistency. Not all are mask proof and not all are matte. So they do kind of run the gamut just like a lipstick would, um, and, but they are different than a liquid lip, um, just in their airy uh, kind of mousse-like consistency like I mentioned. So I am going to list the ones that I have here. Like I said, least to most favorite with some honorable mentions and prices along the way. The, what I would love for you guys to do is to weigh in below with your lip creams. Make sure they fit our little parameters here so no liquid lipsticks and they have to have that doe foot applicator to fit in. Name yours because I know for instance I, I'm not going to mention Giorgio Armani here and he does have a good one and I'm sure there's others that I'm missing so that's where you guys come in in the comments below. All right let's get started because we have a lot to do. First I have two honorable mentions. Um, one very affordable drugstore really and one kind of towards the middle. So the first drugstore uh, one that I am going to recommend is the Jason Wu Honey Fluff Matte Lip Cream. This fits our parameter. It's got a little doe foot applicator. It is a matte. This one is in uh, the shade First Date, which is very popular. It is a matte application and almost a lip liquid lip consistency, but it is a called a lip cream and it is a little bit thicker than a typical liquid lipstick. This one is only $12. It can be bought on Jason Wu's website and also it's for sale in Target and pretty soon, if not now, going to a wider audience. Jason Wu, of course, I did a larger video on his collection. He is, of course, a fashion designer and a kind of all around guy who does a lot of creative things. Um, and this is his first makeup line and it's really kind of just very, very open to anybody who wants to purchase it, which is actually really cool. And they're very nice products. So check that out if you're looking to get in on this trend at a steal of a price, that's a good one. My other um, honorable mention is one that is buried now. I'm not able to find it, so I'll put a picture up. And that is the Lip Souffle by Rare Beauty. It is $20, so getting a little bit more pricey, but it is a very, very nice cream lip product as well and meets our criteria here. Okay, now that we've gotten our honorable mentions out of the way, I wanted to get into my list. So I'm gonna rank my top five here and I'll tell you why each made it and what their qualities are so you might know which one would be best for you if you wanna get in on this. Okay, my number five, you've probably guessed, the least favorite in my collection is the NARS Air Matte. These little guys sell for $26 and I have quite a few shades of them right here. They are very, very pretty. They meet the criteria in that. Sorry, I got stuff rolling everywhere. In that they have a nice thick mousse-like consistency and a doe foot application. The colors are beautiful, the choices are very pretty. I find them almost, the reason they made number five is I almost find them a little bit thick um, and I feel like they just kind of sit on the lips, which is the point of a lot of airy, moussey mattes and they're not wrong in doing that. However, I found that they did their job a little too well and I always felt like they were just kind of, they weren't being one. They weren't being one with my lips enough and I felt they were just sitting on there and I find them a little bit awkward to wear. I guess is the best way to say it. I don't reach for them too much. Number four on my list of five, and this is kind of interesting because some of you might take issue with it. It is the Pat McGrath Liquilus. These guys are $30. And the reason why you might say it doesn't fit my parameters is this is considered by Pat McGrath Labs to be a liquid lipstick, but I feel it is much more of a cream. First of all, we have a doe foot applicator. Though it is a slightly thinner formula, I do feel it is definitely creamy. On the lips, to me, this feels like a cream lip 
lipstick. It does not feel to me like a liquid lipstick, but it does have the added bonus of it drying down and being mask proof, which a lot of people are looking for these days. So again, we have the Pat McGrath Labs Liquid Lust. Comes in so many beautiful colors for $30 and is mask proof. Now I'm gonna ruin that because a lot of you have told me you find this formula to be drying. I don't. When I feel like it's drying, I think to be honest with you, it's psychological. I think a lot of us see anything that's kind of bills itself as a liquid lipstick and just assume it's drying and therefore it's kind of a self-fulfilling lipstick prophecy if there is such a thing. There is now. So what I end up doing is I end up putting this on, letting it dry down, and then applying a gloss over the top. To me, that makes it wear better, so it looks kind of prettier, gives it depth. When the gloss comes off, the, the Liquid Lust color is still there, and it really works for me. But it does apply in such a creamy way that to me this is a definite lit cream lipstick and not just a liquid lipstick but that's why it's a little bit further down on the list. And also I do tend to mess with it. I do tend to put a gloss over it. We're working our way to what I consider the perfect one. Number three, Hourglass Velvet Story. Moving up in price, of course, because it's Hourglass. These guys are $36. This is a definite moussey consistency, very um, thick. Comes in uh, quite a few color choices. This also sits on top of the lips. It is not mask proof. It is matte um, and very, very, very pretty. Applies and feels very much like a lipstick. You can kind of see if you look closely there, I hope the camera picks that up, how thick it is. This definitely feels like you are putting on a regular lipstick and nothing liquid out of a tube like this much more feels like a bullet lipstick sits on the lips glides on the lips which it is meant to do it does not promise to be transfer proof and it is not it stays in that creamy consistency so if you like me like to leave a big smackaroo mark on your little children this will do it for you they hate it but we moms love it <laughs> or on your husband mark your husband mark your boyfriend mark your partner go for it you have my permission Number two on my list, as we move up the list to the top two of my favorite lip creams, number two is one we haven't been talking about for a while. Perhaps that's because in a slightly snobbish way, it calls itself a creme, C-R-E-M-E, -E, not a cream. This is the Patrick Ta Silky Lip Cream, C-R-E-M-E. -E. This is $24. Um, this has kind of a satin finish, so this is a nice little, um, kind of bridge between the two. This isn't so matte, so you won't feel like it's so drying. It has a kind of a creamy, satin-like consistency. It is not too thick, not too thin. Really quite a beautiful product. My only problem with the Patrick Ta Silky Lip Cream um, that prevented it from being number one, because this is a beautiful lip product, the um, it's the monochrome collection and I find that most of the shades wash me out, so I need to usually use a very bright or dark lip liner under it, and I would like to uh, choose a lip cream for number one that is just amazing on its own. But this just feels so nice. It has a little bit of a pepperminty scent to it, but nothing that is cloying, nothing that tingles or feels strange. Again, we are just looking at lip creams here, nothing that promises to be lip plumping. They don't have to make any promises, they just had to be a cream to make my list. Pretty wide parameters there. And number one, to me, the best lip cream out there. Let me see if you can guess. I would say put it below, but then everyone's gonna look down there and we'll just be cheating, so that's no good. This is number one position belongs to, you know, the one contestant you don't want running against you. If you are doing any sort of a tubed lipstick, you don't want this in the competition because I think it should always take number one. Who makes the best pull-out doe foot tubed lipsticks and lip glosses out there? Yeah, Fenty Beauty. The Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream Formula. So this is their very, very famous lip gloss done in a cream formula. It is what I am wearing today in this shade right here, which I will make sure to list below because I 
can't tell which one it is. My little sticker came off. They are very, very thick. Oh, you can see that there coming off the wand, part of my dirty hand. They are very, very thick, very, very creamy. And because they are the cousin to the gloss bomb family, as you can see on my lips today, they are glossy which makes them absolutely beautiful, but not mask proof. In fact, before when I said that I usually take the Pat McGrath Labs and then put a gloss over, this is the look I usually, that I achieve when I do that, but I can do that here with just the Fenty Gloss Balm Cream product. And that works all by itself without adding anything under or over. They also have enough product saturation, as you can see, to really be like a lipstick, enough shine to be like a gloss. Yes, that means they are not mask proof, um, but they do stick around for quite some time. I have been drinking my uh, Dr. Pepper Zero <laughs> over there, you know me, and it comes off on it, but I have not had to touch up at all. And I've been doing some work and some things before I even came on camera to film. So if you need and you're looking for a lip cream that kind of does it all, except transfer proof, except, I would go for this Fenty. By the way, speaking of prices, this is $19. So it's not that bad in terms of high-end makeup. You're definitely saving money. Considering this is 19, the Pat McGrath is 30, and that darn hourglass is 36. You can't do better than this at 19. If you are looking for something mask proof, proof, my favorite is the Pat McGrath. Do look out for that it could be a bit drying. Um, but those are our two best on there. The Hourglass is a little bit of a nicer product than the NARS, in my opinion, if you're deciding between the two. Here's where you come in. I would love to know what your favorite lip cream is. Remember, we're looking for a cream only that's a doe foot applicator and a thicker mousse-like texture. What is your favorite? Because I bet you I missed some good ones that I've either tried and just didn't put on my list, darn it, or haven't even tried yet. So I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I sure hope you did. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.